Now, one thing I want to show is the, the essay timed assessment, because that one, you get only one attempt. Uh, because that one is manually graded. Um, oh, right, I have to mark it as done. Uh, because the, the essay is manually graded, uh, so there isn't really a point in allowing for more than one attempt. And, um, and because the questions are randomly generated, I don't want people kind of re-attempting things until they get the question they like. So, so you get only one attempt. And with the 20 minutes of a time limit and there being only one attempt, I want you to show on this uh, recorded video for the whole class that um, uh, what it will look like. Because uh, unlike with the multiple choice version, you can just start an attempt to, to see what that looks like and then you know, throw that attempt away and then do a second one properly. You can do that with the essay version. When you start, you have just the one attempt and you have to do it. Um, all the essay assessment will, be, will have two questions. And the first question is um, something that you can kind of, after the first module, you will be able to guess what that will look like for the rest of the modules. Um, it's an open-ended question, you know, one open-ended question. And um, I, I like to liken these assessments with the interviews. And, you know, when you're going into job interview, you kind of know some of the questions that they have to ask you, you know, tell, tell me about yourself. Why do you think you are a good fit for this job? Those kind of questions, like without knowing, you know, they are going to be asking you. And that's basically what the open-ended questions are. And if you take time to prepare that ahead of time, I have no problem with that. Do read the question and, and, and you know, if what you prepared is not quite matching with what I ask you, then, you know, just to it. And there will be a one essay question that's uh, kind of specific. And some, um, many of them will be drawn from chapter and the questions. And I tell you where I'm getting from. I tell you chapter two, chapter and the questions. So uh, here's one way you can prepare without having seen the question. Uh, when you go to OpenStax Astronomy, um, it, uh, you know, it's a textbook. You can kind of see the whole book. You can see what the chapter and the questions are like. And uh, once it loads. Uh, so chapter two is really the bulk of module one. Um, there are chapter and the questions there. And this is kind of what you might be doing if you were uh, doing a self-study of this textbook, um, kind of, you know, read through questions, um, you know, from where on, uh, by the way, this was one of the homework questions. Um, and, you know, think to yourself, hey, do I understand this? And if you feel like you understood it, then move on. And um, now, you know, it says give four ways to demonstrate that Earth is spherical. And if you can't quite remember how that was like, then you go back and um, read section 2.2 to kind of see how uh, Aristotle and other people demonstrated that Earth was spherical. So there are these chapter and the questions and a majority of the essay questions are drawn from some of these chapter and the questions. So looking through these chapter and the questions would be one of the ways that uh, the question you get in the essay portion won't be a complete surprise. Um, I'm trying to remember which of the questions that, that I used. Uh, I, I think this might have been one of the questions that I picked. So there's some chance, uh, like in one in seven, one in eight chance, that you could get this question on your essay question. And if uh, you prepare based on this, and that happens to be one of the questions you get, then great, um, that'll, um, you'll have gotten lucky. Now, so that's one way you can prepare. And um, if uh, somehow you are just starting and the, the second question you get that is not something that you prepared, you feel you like a lot about, you know a lot about, well, you have 20 minutes and it is open book. Uh, you are allowed to use the textbook. The only thing I ask is that you don't use any outside resources, by which I mean something that I didn't give to you in the class. Um, 
those use you know that's why I spell it out in the honor code a uh, use of those resources will be considered violation of honor code and academic uh, honesty so uh, let me just start so that I can show you the questions and I guess you will see one of the essay questions and if uh, you turn out to be lucky and you get that question when you do this attempt all right, I, I got lucky, <laughs> um, but you know, you, um, there's a fairly good chance that you won't get that question. So let me start. Um, the first question is the question that everyone will get. That's the open-ended question. I'm not asking you anything specific. I kind of tell you something about module one, and this is my main question in your own words summarize uh, what you learned in the module. So um, summarize, please. <laughs> and uh, the second question here, okay, so that's not the question I got, um, I was looking at, but just so that I can demonstrate that um, I majority of the questions is uh, coming from the chapter and the questions in our textbook. And I do recognize this as one of the questions that I got from the chapter and the question. So let me show you where in the chapter end it is. Um, I think it might be in the figuring out for yourself section. Uh, yeah, suppose you are on a strange planet and observe at night. Um, so, you know, you might read this question and then uh, um, you might figure out the answer and answer it. <laughs> and so, you know, as you're reading the question, if you kind of thinking through the geometry, if you kind of realize, you know, the answer, then great. Uh, you know, you don't have to write anything out. And then having prepared it, if somehow you got lucky and got the question on the essay question, then now you will know what to type out. And, you know, you should type it out. Uh, the correct answer here really can be said in, um, said in a couple sentences. Now, um, you might give the correct answer like this. I happen to have thought through this before, and I know correct answer is 32,000 uh, miles. Now, if that's the only thing I see in your answer, you are gonna get a pretty low score because um, you should uh, explain how you got that answer. So, um, did I randomize this number? I don't remember if I randomized it. Huh, I didn't randomize it. It doesn't matter because um, you should explain how you get this answer. Um, so now um, I have a, a fair number of essay questions. I think I had like a seven or eight that I wrote up. So when you actually take the essay uh, time assessment, you might not get this as your question. Then, uh, and there are some questions that I didn't get from the chapter end, and, but they are based on what we did cover in the modules. So you have a good chance of knowing. And um, if for somehow, worst case scenario, you don't know, um, it's a question that you didn't prepare and you kind of don't know what it's about and going through the textbook and uh, going through the slides, within the 20 minutes, you can't quite figure out what that's about, then I guess at the end of the day, it's uh, five points out of what is a total of 20 points in terms of the timed assessment for module one. So even in that worst case scenario, you know, you should have put in something so that um, some kind of best attempt so that um, you get some points. Uh, I graded this, I think I say it here. Wait, where do I say this? I think I might have said it here under note on timed assessment. Um, essay questions, those are graded on, hmm. holistic, huh, I didn't, well, they will be graded according to the holistic grading scale which is in your syllabus, um, holistic grading rubric. So this is the rubric I'll be using. So, you know, if you put in something, chances are good, you will at least get one or two points. So even when um, what you see is kind of um, not what you prepared, what you feel comfortable with, my recommendation is you should still put in something. 
that way you'll at least get some points based on what you put in. So uh, after you have everything, once again, it saves your work as you go. And I guess it's been five minutes since I started uh, this thing. Uh, so, you know, you have 20 minutes from the time you start to uh, both um, and type in your answer for question one and um, do your best to read the second question. Uh, so, uh, open ended answer. Um, and then when you are done, you should uh, submit at the end. And uh, I hope it doesn't show me the score. Yeah, okay, it should not show me the score because um, um, I, I need to grade it manually. So um, <laughs> uh, if we it were to show you a score, it will show you zero out of 10. And until I uh, come around to actually grading it, it doesn't mean anything. And uh, once I have graded this essay portion manually, I will um, kind of post something in the announcement. So that, uh, telling people to uh, go into their uh, assessment. And I think I can change the settings afterwards so that people can actually see their, um, uh, see their scores. Um, so you'll be able to see feedback there. Um, so those are the timed assessments. I guess this took a little bit longer than I, uh, anticipated. Um, but any questions on uh, these two timed assessments, multiple choice and the essay? Um, so uh, you can, um, if there are no questions on the timed assessment, um, I, let me just end with this note in that, um, so I do want you to prepare. Um, you know, it does course matter. You don't get unlimited attempts. So I do want you to prepare. But at the same time, I don't want you to feel so nervous because um, you get six of these. So you know, if you were to get zero out of 10, zero out of 10 on both of these, so you know, you are missing one out of uh, six. What's that in percentage terms? I'm trying to do the number. I think it's a th what close to thirteen percent, sixteen percent. Yeah, close to sixteen percent. Now, having missed the sixteen percent, you are still not mathematically eliminated from earning an A because the threshold for A is a seventy-five percent or above. So um, even if you got zero out of twenty on the, f I mean, you shouldn't. But even if you got that, if you got perfect scores on modules two through six, then you can still get um, eighty-three percent and qualify for an A. So um, it's a. Uh, I really hope um, so. You you know prepare and take it seriously, but at the same time, uh, don't feel too nervous because there's plenty of them. Uh, it, it, especially the first couple, if you mess up on those, there is a time and opportunity to improve.